Hey everyone, we are back at it. We're with another adventure today. We are in Chattanooga, here at the Chattanooga National Cemetery. Uh, today we're going to look at the Andrew Monument, um, which was erected by the state of Ohio. Uh, the state of Ohio is the one that actually made the monument for him and his co colleagues that was actually hung in Atlanta. Um, so, and then they um, took their bodies up towards the Tennessee area, which is 117 miles um, from where they were hung originally during the Civil War after stealing the General uh, General locomotive. Um, and if you guys haven't seen that video that I've recently uploaded, the uh, Southern Locomotive Museum, you guys need to check it out. It's great information. Um, it also talks a little bit more about the General locomotive as well as giving you pictures of the men that was all involved. Um, now, out of the men that was with Andrew, there was 19 of them, including Andrew, who was awarded the Medal of Honor, which is the highest prestige honor uh, or award that's given to military servicemen. Um, but also, what is actually a pretty cool and interesting fact is that Andrew wasn't even a soldier. Uh, he was actually a civilian who came up with the idea of stealing the locomotive or the general locomotive uh, to try to cripple the south and uh, in a sense of where they couldn't use train to get their supplies, their food, their, their weapons or anything like that on their way to Chattanooga uh, where the Union forces were taking charge and taking over the land of Chattanooga especially here which is right up the road as well a battle took place there and it was look up lookout mountain um, so if you guys ever have a chance to go out to lookout mountain uh, it's a great place um, great a lot of history there uh, especially over there by the Craven house uh, there was a family that used to live there uh, but they later moved out and and left their house uh, due to the um, the war going on, the bombs going off from the cannons, uh, and once they left, it eventually was taken over as a uh, hospital uh, for the unions. Um, so that's actually a pretty cool fact as well. And as you can see right here in front of me, uh, is that famous word or that famous famous speech by uh, President Lincoln. Uh, it is his Gettysburg Address. Um, there is 271 words to this whole speech. Uh, no, 272 words to this speech. And it's, a, it's a great speech. Uh, it's just talking about, you know, uh, how our nation uh, was divided and that we need to all come together uh, because we are all Americans uh, and that we should all be, should and are created equally. Uh, there's nothing that should separate us um, so with that being said, we're going to go ahead and make our way to the monument of Andrew and his men. Now the men that was hung with Andrew are here. They are buried with him. Not all of them were hung. Uh, there was some that escaped. Uh, there's, a vi there's a picture that I'm going to upload with this video uh, that shows some of the men that was with Andrew. Uh, they come out here and they do a reunion. Uh, the day I probably the day that they were all that their colleagues were hung I'm assuming that that's when they do the re reunion um, so that's pretty cool um, I, I would really like to meet one of them guys um, because you know coming up with that master plan of stealing a locomotive uh, was pretty gutsy uh, but it all worked out until they they were eventually caught by the Confederates uh, and you know one once they were caught they did have to pay for their crime um, but they did help the unions out a lot and so with that being said let's go ahead and walk our way through uh, the cemetery kind of get a feel of not just the Civil War heroes here but individual heroes from the Desert Storm uh, World War One, World War Two, the Korea War maybe even the Vietnam War as well as Iraqi freedom um, all those men all those women um, are very special to me and my family. We are very patriotic. And, uh, so let's just go ahead and enjoy this video. Um, I hope that you guys continue watching these videos and subscribing to my channel and hitting that like button. Also, don't be shy. Uh, always 
post a comment if you guys have any questions or any concerns. Um, with that being said, I love you guys. A little bit. Doesn't look bad. What? No, look at that. That's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. The reef. What are the? Are these? Like this? I think these are like the other wars, and I think that's the Civil War. Yeah. See. That's a grandmother. That's pretty neat, though. Yeah. No, they're in front. It's just the way that the the layout. You know. It's just the way that. The, the whole layout is <coughs> yeah these are the Civil War you can tell by the the uh, tombstones? tombstones okay these ones are smaller than the other ones cuz see if you look right here see that's New York okay yeah There's Kentucky right there. Pretty neat. It's really nice that they put the reefs out here. You know? I've seen like four, like five different states already. From like Indiana to New York to Kentucky. Huh? Look at these right here. Up underneath the tree. Wisconsin. He was a, he was a second lieutenant. Missouri. They must have had a bad windstorm out here. Huh? Iowa. He died in 1864, one year, uh, no, towards the end of the Civil War. Why is it so cold? <laughs> Thank you.
I wonder where that um, monument is. I wonder where that monument is. It said it was going around the turn right here, so it must have. It's probably probably that right there. See that little like bridge thing right there. Yeah. Let me take a last little survey. I like how they've been having that in the uh, cemeteries now. The Gettysburg Address. Yeah. Yeah, they must have had a pretty bad, pretty bad windstorm out here. Hey, babe. What's that? This guy right here is from your state. Tim T M Nicholas from Illinois. Here. Well, I got it. I'm going to selfie me. You go ahead. I got Mhm. Mm there's, Mich there's Michigan right here. There was Michigan right there. Right there. With the wreath down a little bit. Yeah. Those two right there. Okay. Illinois infantry right here. Sweet. He died in 1864. One year uh, he he died towards the end of the Civil War. Huh? Michigan. Missouri. Illinois. Auto fight. It's kind of messed up. You don't see Georgia, and we're right up the road from it. <laughs> I said you don't even really see Georgia in here, but which is kind of crazy because Chattanooga is just right up the road from Georgia, Illinois. They had a bad windstorm. I bet you. There's a sergeant from Ohio. Huh? They're just going to blow back over. Hey, this one says USA. Really? Yeah. I guess Union. I don't know what state though. It just says USA. Hey baby, huh? you want to be the camera person? Hold it while I walk around. Sure. <laughs> Probably. Oh my goodness! Look at these little tombstones. Ooh, 
soldier. A lot greener right here. That? Yeah. So we'll make our way down here. There's a Confederate. C S R C S E R. Hey, here's an Illinois. New York. David Franklin. Where's that at? <laughs> New York. Get that soldier's from New York. Right here? That one's nope. Next one over. This one. Is Illinois infantry. Oh, Illinois. That one's New York right there. Oh, it's cold out here. Forget the Yankees. Huh? Forget the Yankees. South till the day I die, baby. I'm a Confederate all the way to the end. No turning back. Wow, this tomb has been here for a minute. Look at that. Decay. Huh? I, you know how many Ohio's I've seen? About as many as I've seen in Illinois. Yeah. yeah, I'm fighting through it though. Trying to. Here's Kentucky. For real? Calvary. Ooh. That one's, I, I like that. I thought you said your fingers were frozen. Uh, apparently, we're out here in the freezing cold. <laughs> really? Hey, look, there's a. Hey, there's somebody over here that's named Bertha. Look. Bertha. Bertha? Oh, well. Hey, that should be our next car's name, Bertha. I, I think these are. <laughs> I know, but it's cool though. Yeah. That's our very next car's name. Bertha. It's pretty cool. Big Bertha. It's pretty cool though. I had batteries as well. Not much. There's the monument right there. That's alright. We'll get on we'll get it filming. We'll get it filming. And then I'll take a picture. <laughs> Illinois. Oh yeah, they're eating up my nuts. Yeah. Maybe I got a bunch of soldiers following me. They're getting hit on. Getting hit on by soldiers. Yeah, Marietta. Yeah. We gotta go see. Uh, I wasn't surprised that he was actually talking to me and Ginger a lot like that. I, I we still gotta go back and see Emma Stevenson. Yeah. Yes. I'm gonna I'm gonna go put a flag on her cemetery. Andrew. Yay. That my boy Andrew. <laughs> Very gutsy guy. Hey, he knew how to piss the. He knew how to make the South mad. I can tell you that. Yeah, you know the uh, state of Ohio. Hey, the state of Ohio. Baby, it's the state of Ohio made that for Andrew and his men. Okay. Is it a snow tonight? I think it's 
so here, can you take this? Yeah, look at all the stuff that people left. I know, that's really neat. Okay. Good. All right, you guys. So, uh, this is the monument. Um, well, there's a replica of the general, um, which was, uh, sorry, my ears are cold. Um, this is a replica of the general, which was stolen by James W. Andrew. Um, he was from Flemingsburg, Kentucky. Uh, then you have his buddies, um, um, Marone, Marion, Marion A. Ross, George D. Wilson, Perry G. Shadrach, John M. Scott, Samuel Slavens, Samuel Robinson, William H. Campbell, S S S S Cylon, or from Stileville, Ohio. Um, these men um, were all executed uh, with Andrews and their uh, from their um, so they, they were all hung in Atlanta um, there's a marker outside of Oakland Cemetery if you're ever in the Atlanta area uh, stop by the Oakland Cemetery um, they have a great historical uh, cemetery there uh, not for just Civil War uh, soldiers uh, great I had fun there because we were also there to see Margaret Mitchell's uh, great John M. Scott, Medal of Honor. He was a sergeant um, in the 21st Ohio Infantry. The, as you guys can see right here, 1862. That's when they were hung. They were re they received the Medal of Honor. And this is um, Shadrock. Um, he wasn't, he, as you can see, he wasn't awarded the Medal of Honor. Um, not many of them did. I think you got Scott, um, Ross, he received the Medal of Honor. As you can see, he's part of the 2nd Ohio Infantry. Um, and as you guys can see, people have left, um, mem you know, memories or coins. Uh, letting everyone know that they have paid um, paid a visit in honor of these men um, and their sacrifice of putting themselves in harm's way um, to steal that love of um, Right here is George D. Wilson. Then you have Samuel Robinson. As you can see, he was a Medal of Honor recipient of the 33rd Ohio Infantry. June 18th, 1862 is when he was executed. The same day, uh, all the men on that board over there. And then this is Samuel Slavens, Medal of Honor, 33rd Ohio Infantry, dated June 18th, 1862. And then here's Andrews. J James J. Andrews, as you guys can see, he wasn't a soldier. He was a civilian. Um, he was killed June 7th, 1862. He was actually killed before his men were hung. Um, so that's that's always an interesting fact. Um, I've been following uh, the, the General Locomotive 
for a little while as well as the other Civil War sites that I've been thinking to visit to. Um, but yeah, it, the Civil War has so much history and so much things going on that a lot of people are getting it mixed up and always thinking negatively of the Civil War. But a lot of people don't understand that even the people during the Civil War and fighting in the Civil War were still kind of confused of why they were at war with at war with the war. Um, and if you watch some of the videos, um, like me and my wife has watched, like Gettysburg and Gaza General, if you notice, a lot of those people that were fighting in the Confederacy against the Union, they were friends. You know, they were friends. They were family. Um, most of them up north were even just teachers. Uh, so, I mean, a lot of the whole Civil War um, shouldn't have happened. It did, unfortunately. Um, and I know a lot of people have mixed emotions of the Civil War um, and why it was started. And a lot of people think it was over slavery. Um, you know, whatever the reason may be behind the Civil War, um, I just think that bygones need to be bygones and we just got to improve ourselves. Like Lincoln said, even look at some of these houses that you run into a better box it's just amazing what civilians even had to go through people that wasn't even fighting um, having to pack up and leave and, and not knowing if they're going to come home and come back to the house and is it going to still be standing there you know it's it's one of those tough decisions uh, that a lot of people have made um but as you guys can see right here as well, these were exchange, uh, the second Ohio Volunteer Infantry, uh, William Pittning Company. So this is pretty cool. And then if you go right here, like I was saying before, this was Ohio's tribute to Andrews Raiders of 1862, and it was erected in 1890, or 1890. Uh, so the state of Ohio made that for him. Um, over here on this side, this lets you know exactly who was able to escape from being executed and caught and prosecuted, uh, which was the 21st. And these men were from the 21st Ohio Vol Volunteer Infantry. Uh, you have J. Alfred Wilson, Mark Wood, W. M. J. Knight, W. R. Wilson, M. Brown, John R. Porter. And then you got 33rd Ohio Volunteer Infantry, Martin J. Hawkins, John Willeman, Daniel Allen Dorsey. Um, so these are the men that they were able to escape and not be prosecuted. As you guys can see, there are tombs, or gravestones around the monument. Um, just a little bit more, it's kind of like, see this is another one, James M. Reagan. Just some more Civil War um, soldiers. Uh, this place is just absolutely beautiful. Uh, it takes a lot of time, a lot of effort into this. And, uh, just so appreciated that I was able to come out here and, and see this thing with my wife. We've been wanting to come back out here because I know, I know when, if you guys haven't seen the video of the Southern Locomotive Museum, uh, it's stated in the at the end of the video that there was going to be a part two. This is actually the part two. Uh, we were diving into the history of the Civil War 
or the locomotive chase and then uh, we were going to go here where they are you know where they were buried uh, so you got to think about it Chattanooga to, to Atlanta is 117 miles uh, driving a very prestige of honor to be able to be buried in a national cemetery along with all these other men, men that fought in the Civil War, even the men and women that fight with the fight in the wars today, you know, uh, because it, it's just, you know, when, when you come to a national cemetery, you just feel at ease and you feel at peace with everything that's around. Um, so peaceful to come out here and just visit these tombstones. You don't even really need to know anybody um, and, and stuff like that. You can still just come out and put a point on there and show your appreciation for their sacrifice and their service. Uh, but with that being said, I hope that you guys enjoy this video and make sure you guys hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And I love